Hey, now we're at the Vermeer booth for TCI. They only had three stump grinders there. They had their um, the new big bad boy. They had the 70 horsepower and the 48 horsepower. You can look back about two or three videos ago and you'll see the uh, 48 horsepower machine. I did an on-site review. Later on this week, I should be doing, uh, it depends on the weather. They're supposed to bring me out that big bad boy to demo it. They want to see what I think. Um, there was one disappointment. They didn't bring any of their smaller machines. You know, they're uh, basically like their, I don't know what the numbers are anymore. It'd be like their 252 and their, and their other one that was the, the 3 Series. They didn't bring out those two smaller machines which I think was a big mistake on their behalf, but, um, you know, I know they only got so much room on a truck, and those bigger machines suck up the, the room, all right? So, um, I will hopefully, my dealer, I'll get him to bring some of those out later on down the road in the next month or so, and we'll try them out, and, and you know, I'll, I'll do a walk around for you on a job site, okay? Possibly running wood or whatever, uh, big thanks to Vermeer because there was a ton of people there. It's hard to get the machine by itself to do a walkthrough and, you know, really critique something when you got noise behind you and people walking all around you and cutting in front of you. And, and I understand, you know, I mean, it's like you're in a gigantic candy store. So if you ever have the opportunity to go to one of those TCI shows, allow yourself two days and pre-plan what you want to look at. If you want to look at chippers, if you want to look at chainsaws, because you can get overwhelmed and like, I, you know, I got distracted because I love equipment. There was all kinds of different European stuff there, and I'm here, I'm like, oh, look at that, oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. How's that made? What does that run on? You know, that's just, just me. I like things mechanical. Anyway, uh, sit back, watch it, and I did the best I could. I got you some prices. These are just the manufacturers recommended, blah, 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 blah. You find something you like at a dealer, you know, work your best deal like the old days, tire kicking, okay? All right. God bless you. Sit back. It's only, I think, about four minutes, five minutes worth of video. Have a great Sunday. Enjoy your family. That's what life's about, man. This is Vermeer's biggest machine to have now. It runs a gas six-cylinder. It is the... Let me get you the right model number. This is the SC1052. The the motor in here is Owen, right? Origin. Origin. Six cylinder. Six cylinder, 4.3 liter. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I was looking at the other side, but what is this based off of? A Chevy motor? GM block. GM block. I bet you it's based off of like the 443 motor. Uh, yeah. yeah. I know, yeah. Yes. The 43s is V6, so this is V6. Okay. Deeper, deeper oil pan. I, like I said, I would There's like to try a couple of customizations. Like, this thing's fully built for this machine. Do you, how many horse? 115. 115 horsepower. Do you happen to know how much torque? Okay, that's fine. I'll look it up in the spec manual. Uh, I'm going to actually be running one of these in a week. So. Oh, all right. The torque is 231 foot-pounds of torque. It'll go through a 35-inch or 36? 35 inches when you're removing the uh, secondary tire. Right, right. That's really. And to remove that tire, we got to pop three, three bolts. Yeah, that's been your system forever. Okay, and the, this one comes with... Manual controls and and a remote. Uh, you have to order the remote separately, but right. remote, but capable. remote capable. Correct. It's got a backfill blade automatically, or do you have to order that with it? Comes with it. Uh, yeah, 1052 and the 48 over there. Uh, come with the right. How much now? That's the SC70. What has that got in it? Uh, that's a 70 horsepower. I think cat. Cat. How much faster do you think? That is compared to this one, as far as grinding. Any oh, idea? Like efficiency-wise? Yeah. Night and day. It's got an extra, 
I mean, this is 70 horsepower and that's 115, so it's got a, another 45 horsepower. And, well, normally with motors we talk torque, but it's okay. No, yeah. But, oh yeah, that's, that's I mean, this is an extremely efficient uh, right. stunt cutter. Don't get me wrong. But you're finding this is your bad boy. Yeah, that's, that's a beast. Okay, good. That's that. And then the 70, what kind of motor is this? A cat, you said? Let's look at the motor. And this only, this also comes manual or remote capable, correct? Oh, there we go, the old clamshell. There you go. Oh, it's got good access to the motor. Yep. Very good access to this motor. All right. And to fuel it is here. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's different than the other new one you got there, the 48. Yeah, the fuel's uh, back. In yeah, the back in the well. back there, I room, that one you have to open it up. Correct. Open up the clam to get to the fuel. Correct. All right. And price wise, this? 112. 112 for that one. And this model, 89. 89 for this. Okay, good deal. And you are? Cole Smith. Cole Smith. There you go.